Yeah, what's good everybody? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. So, today we asked the question, should we summon? So we just watched uh, the pretty much reveals and stuff. We saw what we are getting. Kind of excited, you know, very excited. It's, it's something very different. It's something out of the ordinary. We're not getting T.O.P. things anymore. We're not getting just the usual. I am kind of disappointed that it's back to back I left Goku's, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. So, should you summon? Now, again, this is very much similar to the Ginyu banner where we got three new units. Not just one, not just two, we got three. We got Master Roshi, we got Android 8, and we got Path to Power Goku. So, I'm not 100% sure what Alephs could potentially be on here. Now, if we kind of break it down, you could think maybe Tag Droid would cover the Android aspect of this. We will get some movies Alephs on there, so maybe someone like Dragon Fist will be on there. Uh, I'm not really sure who else would potentially be on there. And then in terms of Dragon Ball Saga, there is no other Alephs. The closest thing to that would be the uh, Aleph Yellow Piccolo. So he may or may not be on this banner as well. Again, I have not gone over any kits yet, so I don't know how good they are. Look, but just by looking at the Goku with his Dragon Ball manipulation, it's already gonna be kind of insane in a way. And I could already see people running that yellow, uh, that double purple blue setup. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Not necessarily with Namek Goku, but with Android 17. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun and a fun and a done, you know. But let me just give you a little bit of an idea of what could happen. So. In terms of the color wheel for Dragon Ball Saga, we have now four of the colors done. I do 100% expect an Ultra to come, so if you do summon on this, you're probably going to have to summon on the Ultra as well. Because if you look at it, we got Android 8, which is blue. Yellow, we got Master Roshi. Purple, we got this power to power Goku. And then green, we got free to play DKP. Red is the only outliner, uh, outlier there. We could see potentially Ultra DKP drop, because again, last month we got free to play Goku and then the Alef Goku. So we could get, again, free to play DKP, Ultra DKP. But yeah, this is purely down to your personal preference whether you want these units or not. Because again, people will always say, oh, you should save for Legends Festival. Look, we live now. We don't live in Legends Festival. We live for the now. If this is a character that you want, what was your first impression of it? Always wait 24 hours after a banner drops, then you take it from there as to how do you feel about this. You can always obviously go see how, how he plays. There are many other content creators who will do that. Me personally, I will be summoning on this because again, it's something different. It's not just your usual, like the normal thing that you'd get. So I like outlandish. I like being completely different, very much. That kind of sums that up. So let me know in the comments, what were your first thoughts? By the way, both of those Kamehameha's are phenomenal from Roshi and from Goku. Oh, the best Kamehameha's in the game. The best Kamehameha's in the game. It really is. So yeah, let me know in the comments, are you going to be summoning or not? Let me know. I'm curious to know what your thoughts as well. Where else do you think this Dragon Ball campaign will go? There is plenty of CC to be made from Hoi Boy, from the raid, and then also from the new event that's going to give 600. So yeah, there is not really a shortage of CC. So. Make your choice. You've got plenty of time. Relax, you know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Safe.